aviondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. Ultimately, the goal of the diagnostic plan is to get you fully prepared so that you can solve the problem in a very efficient manner, get it right the first time. If you don't have a plan, if you don't start with a good plan at the beginning, what's the chance that you're going to have good success at the end? So here's the steps that I perform when I attack a diagnostic problem. It doesn't really matter what system it is. Number one, I got to review the customer issue. Sure, I have the ticket from the service advisor. It says the AC is not working. You know, you know, very vague term, or it's not blowing cold, or whatever the case may be. I need to have a good understanding of what that means. Then I'm going to go to the vehicle and determine if I can duplicate the problem. If I can't duplicate the problem, that's where the process stops. Now we need to duplicate the problem for 100% certainty. And if you can't duplicate it, then we're going to have to have more information from the customer. If the service advisor after talking to the customer, still can't duplicate the issue with the information that's there, my recommendation is to get the customer to come back so they can duplicate the problem. Because in many cases, these gremlins and ghosts that you chase end up being something that maybe the consumer doesn't understand the system and has a different expectation. There's nothing wrong with the system. It's how they're using it. The next step is what portion of the system is affected. In the case of climate control, we really have several different sections. So let's take a look. We have the AC system, but the pressure and refrigerant section. We've got the airflow or the volume. What is the blower motor capable of doing? And then we have the mode doors, which is taking care of the directional side and then other auxiliary components. So does it have an, an auxiliary air conditioning system? Does it have a factory air conditioning system and heating cooling system in the front, but in the back of the vehicle, it's a hang-on air conditioning system for rear air. So you need to break it into sections so that you know which direction you want to go. Next thing is research. If you've never touched the system before and you don't have a solid understanding of how that system works, then what you're going to have to do is do some research. And that includes a system, which we'll look at in just a moment, technical service bulletins, does it have any reprogramming or reflashes, is there anything else that we need to think about? So now we need to develop a diagnostic plan. If I've duplicated the problem, I know which section of the system has an issue, I've researched it, there's no TSBs, no reprogramming I can do, but I know where I have all my wiring schematics, I know where the components are, I know where my testing positions are, I know some of the things that I can do with my scan tool to help me solve the problem. Now I attack it. So if during the research phase, it's determined that you need possibly to do a recalibration of the mode doors. Maybe the reason that the air is not blowing out the right area, whether defrost or the vent or the floor, is because it needs to be recalibrated. So if that's what you find in the research, and then you know that in your diagnostic plan you want to do that, now you got to go to your scan tool and see if you have that feature that you can operate that recalibration? Or can you turn the compressor clutch on and off? What are the things that you can do with the tools that you have? If you determine you don't have the proper tools, now within your diagnostic plan, is there a way to get around that particular problem? If you have all the proper tools, now you're ready to execute the plan. Go to the vehicle and start going through your process. And sometimes that is following a flow chart that tells you how the system works. What if you get stuck? What if you get to a certain point and you say, well, I thought that I could run this bi-directional troll, I can't. Or I've gone through the entire test and I didn't see what I needed to see. I'm not comfortable with my diagnosis. Well, that's when you need to bring in some other people around you to say, well, here's my plan. Here's what I did. Because if you've written this down, if you've gone through a diagnostic strategy, if you gather others around you, then you can explain exactly what you've done. What was the value you had here? What was the value you had there? If you just go kind of hacking away in the wilderness and you're trying this and trying that, you don't have a plan, then in the end, you're gonna get stuck. But if you go through the process correctly, you've probably got a 95% success rate on solving the problem in a timely manner. Thanks for watching this video presentation. If you'd like some more training, just go to aviondemand.com.
or go to one of our social sites. That's all the time for now. I'm Steve. I'll see you later.